Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development, jQuery, JavaScript, Greensock, animations, scrolling animations, scrollers, scroll magic, you name it, uh, that's what I like, that's what I do every day and uh, today we're gonna look at a very cool website using Greensock, which is called makemepools.com and we're gonna deconstruct nice cool slider which is on angle which is not a standard slider sort of horizontally but it looks like it's a little bit angled and we're gonna look at exactly how the effect was created okay before we jump onto that let's uh, do firstly our sublime text tip if you like to create and complete your project uh, without any headaches and extra stress you're probably keeping track of your outstanding task templates and uh, sort of features you need to implement and uh, sublime text helps you to keep on track with a simple to-do list uh, right inside of sublime so uh, we'll install this additional plugin through the package controller so press command shift and p and search for package uh, control install package hit enter and from the next drop down we're gonna search for plain task plain tasks and as you see this is a github hosted plain task extension for sublime text uh, so click on that and that should install this extension for us and once it's done we can again press command shift and p to bring up the contextual menu and now search for tasks and we'll see a couple new items in here which weren't there before we're gonna select the tasks new document which brings up a yellow tab sort of which stands out from the code uh, files and we, if we wanna create a heading of our to-do list let's say we've got elements to style so let's say styling and use colon at the end of it that creates a heading and then when we press command and I that will create a new item so command and i for item and this could be our header again command and i this could be navigation command and i footer command and i sidebar and once you go to your css uh, complete the styling of the header just press command and d to complete it the same with footer and uh, so on so yeah this gives you a nice sort of overview what's left on the project you can save the file as a to-do list so you could go into the file and save it as peter to do it to do list sorry and then if you close it open it again anytime in sublime you'll see what's outstanding and what's still to do if you want to get rid of the task which were already done just press command shift and a to archive them and all the completed tasks will move to the archive uh, section okay so very handy very very simple to do to create uh, and stay organized uh, during your project so hope you find it interesting and hope you find it useful and let's move finally on to the today's deconstruction in today's deconstructions we look at the makemepools.com website which is a digital agency portfolio i could keep clicking around this site just because of the sound if you haven't heard go there and check out these waves they are done with three js but the sound behind it it's incredible i could just keep clicking and listening to that sound it's a uh, very very uh, cool and uh, when we scroll down you will see this slider which is a project slider featured projects uh, but the cool things about cool thing about it and the thing i was interested in is how the angle was created okay so web is full of sliders which are just standard on a sort of horizontal uh, line but how is this angle created i was very curious how it was done okay so i deconstructed the site on the website deconstructions.com so you can read the whole thing and uh, deconstruct a couple more features but uh, this is a visual sort of indication how it is laid out so there are two overlay elements which are creating created creating the angle so shape dark and uh, 
as you can see, it has a skew minus 24 degrees and rotate 20, uh, minus 21 degrees, okay? So this skew with a combination with rotate makes it actually on angle and it's positioned to the top 50 of that uh, slider, which covers the top top of the items, okay? So all the items by default in a CSS, they are actually uh, just aligned horizontally, but what makes them sort of the last one going up and the first one going down is the top offset. So as you can see, the first left item has a top 86 pixels, which is pushing it down from the original position. And the same thing for the right item, okay? So that is pulled up by 86 pixels and that's why sort of that uh, gives this the cascading or the steps uh, sort of uh, alignment and the top shape is uh, covering the the steps in here okay the the white background behind it again it's a shape so if we go in here and inspect uh, the white it's a simple background inside of that uh, container so as you can see background slider and uh, to prove that we would change this to red and you would see that uh, the background of that changes to red. So there is another shape which is creating the white background behind it. And the same thing is happening with the bottom bit. So there is a, another shape which is on, uh, on top of the other section. So the one which is coming up after the slider that has uh, another similar shape, similar color to the top shape dark but this one is positioned to the top of the next section of the site okay similar thing it has a skew minus 21 degrees and rotate minus 21 degrees as well and it's positioned top 80 from the next section okay so it's not a bottom of this section it's at the top of the next following section alrighty so hope that answers some of the questions uh, and if you want to check out the rest of the deconstruction and see how uh, the preloader was created uh, on a canvas and also how the hover state of uh, these items is created so when it goes from blurry to a uh, full sharp image or actually from uh, the opposite from the sharp to blurry go and check out the full deconstruction on the website deconstruction.com and go check out the site click around because the sound is really really cool and that's it all for today hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new and don't forget to check out the front end development blog at ihatetomatoes.net for more css jquery javascript html and greensock tutorials and demos and if you are parallax scrolling fanatic then definitely you'll find a lot of uh, blog posts uh, helpful especially when you're working with a scroller. So check it out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, bye.